playing with just eight players eligible, so it's been a short bench for Nebraska. Expect to get some of those backers along three. And there is Alexis Markowski with the first points for Nebraska. Fantastic play. Uh, maybe a little nerves to be back out there. I hope she plays loose and has a blast out there today. Great pass. Terrific feed from Jazz Shelley. Emotional roller coaster, I'm guessing. But no surprise that she's back and leading this group, whether she's on the floor or not. Quinn Weideman shot, knocks it down. Boy, that was a quick catch and shoot for Quinn Weideman. Great pass inside. Weideman with the turnaround. Got the bucket through the foul. Stauska up top. Pounded by Widener. Widener strips it away. Ustowska got it back. Thrown up right at the buzzer, and it's good by Tommy Olson. There she is again. She had, she had post moves beyond her years, even early in high school. Absolutely. Step back, Shelly, three pointer. Got it. Shelly shooting 58% from range over the last three games. Step back and knocks that one down. 1-1 one, one, and Kroll, while she made two state championship finals, didn't ever walk home with the championship. Three on the way and good by Peterson. Kroll with it for Nebraska on Peterson. Drives in. Little reverse by Maddie Kroll. Nice bucket. Great. First field goal since the 807 mark. You don't want to miss that feature coming up in half. Down low. Great feed awesome. of the basket by. That's Fertig who put it in. You see the scoring difference for Nebraska over the last three games from the first half to the second half. They're averaging just 28 points in the first, 52 points in the second half, and get out quick here in the second as well. A nice feed from Widener to Shelley. Ivy up top. Weideman kicked out. Open look, Markowski. Three-pointer banked it in. It doesn't say bank in the in the stat sheet. It just says she made another three. Great jab by Hybe that time too. Three on the way. Olsen got it. Just a floor general out there. Knows the strengths of her teammates. There's three. Got it, Weideman, and all of a sudden Wyoming is within four. 34-30 here in the third. Moriarty, three is off. Rebound Widener from the back. Great job by Widener. Put back in a three-point play opportunity. Needed a little press to get the get things moving. Back down low. Middleson puts it up. Gets the shot and the foul. And Middleson with a three-point play opportunity. Broken there by Melano, who drives in, and Middleson says nothing doing. Excuse me, in the front court that can help you a little bit after they beat the press. Furtick on Mendelssohn, Furtick backs down, another block by Mendelssohn. Malama has it taken away. Moriarty, steal and lay in for Moriarty. Tipped away, Stewart comes up. Markowski reads the ball off the rim so well. Even if she's not on the inside, she gets position. And now for three. Three for four from three-point range for Alexis Markowski. 17-2 in points off turnovers. Both teams even, 18 turnovers, but the Huskers' ability to finish off turnovers and convert. How about it again? Markowski. Got it! When it's your day. It's your day, and you get the roll. Wider inside Markowski. Markowski, little turnaround down low. 22 now for Markowski. Drive left-handed off the glass. Nice bucket by Colin Hake. 9-0 run for Nebraska. Then on the road, Michigan, Indiana, all ranked teams ahead for this Nebraska team, which is now receiving votes in the national polls. After those two disappointing losses to Creighton and Drake, things have really turned around. 
for this Nebraska team. Yeah, this will be a good stretch for them. So a good win at home, Nebraska, in the second half.